What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Feet Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weekday streams on Twitch for the winter. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. Today, we're going to be playing a five player progressive, or six player progressive world dom on classic. Lines is on. Blizzard's on, portals and fog are off, and I'm in the first position. Oh boy. Well, I mean, I could insist on Australia. Not always something I recommend doing. But we'll try it for the lols. All right, ladies and gentlemen, seeing as how I have all of my material grouped around Australia, I might as well see if anyone is going to let me hold. Australia. I also need, in order to pull this off, I need to make nice with the black player specifically. Yes, white gets their take. I'm basically playing it like the Australian noob right now. Oh, baby, Mr. Splatula with the raid. Time to raid the kitchen. How you doing, man? Thank you so much for the raid. How you doing, bro? Yeah, we're basically uh, lining this one up like the classic Australian noob strategy. Um, ooh, and red is putting themselves into position to capitalize on that. It looks like blue is going to have an easy South America start. And the blizzards are about as unimpactful as they possibly can be. Um, having blizzards that block nothing um, on classic doesn't really help anyone hold anything. Okay, so we do see blue get a really strong, and we see orange get a really strong Africa start as well. Great. So I'm not going to be alone holding a bonus. I'm not even going to take mine super fast. I don't know why you would piss away a 4v2. Orange is expending all of this material. Or Orange is going to win Africa, but he is only going to be in one position, which, as you guys well know, you don't really want to do in progressive. But he has a very strong Africa start turn one, and he gets the guard. So Orange will be the strongest player in this game in the early to mid game. Also, folks, alliances are on. Alliances are on. So... I think I will give white the chance for one more card. But I'm going to continue insisting upon the Australian position. And then if my three in Iceland or my two in North America survives, then it survives. I'm pretty much lined up to capture Australia now. And also, since I'm in the first position and since I have a joker, I really have nothing to lose by trading early to capture it. Right, so you do lose equity by by trading in the four trade early. Um, this is progressive. The trades go four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen, and then up by five, twenty, twenty-five, and so on. Um, and normally, you guys see me strongly avoid Australia, strongly avoid recommending people have any business with. And we're going to try the Australian position this time. Also, progressive is really not about a bonus game, but if you can get your bonuses quickly enough, yeah, I expected white to exhaust. That uh, that three, getting decent roll. So I'm going to have eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can roll two twos and a one and guard against blacks five here as I go one, two, three next turn and hopefully have a decent guard on Indonesia with then the eye to move both of these stacks in to guard on future turns, making it look like I'm a noob. Does Pete skip a card? I don't think I will. How do I take my coffee with cream? Oh, and we see a break. Red goes bad neighbor. Red goes bad neighbor. Really? Who wants to be my friend? I don't think red. I don't think red does. Okay, blue retakes. Red playing a very noobish bad neighbor strategy. Peach, would you say hello, Aaron? I'll give a prime sub. I would say hello, Aaron, without any quid pro quo. Hello, Aaron. 
<laughs> I don't need I don't need you to uh to pay for it. But thank you. <laughs> Pete, if you skip a card, I'm rich. Hey, thank you, Storm Malicious, for the prime. Appreciate it. Takes Australian calls red a noob. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm we're we're trying out. We're trying out the Australia. I was gifted an Australia start this game. As you well know, I don't strongly recommend playing the Australia position. All things being equal in classic progressive, but at, like all my material is pretty much there. So once I capture it, we'll see how much is left. I don't think black breaks unless I get terrible rolls. And if I get terrible rolls, I can always stop, right? Okay, we lose a troop. Okay, we lose a troop. Yeah, it's not great rolls. Definitely not great rolls. So regarding with the six, we have the ancillary um, five for backup. I don't think we see black roll in 8v6, but you never know. Thank you, Big Bert, for the sub. Thank you, Mallory, for the bits, you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm still in okay shape. Basically tied up to black. Black, black is, is now confronted with the situation where if they want to go for the break... Um, that will very strongly advantage orange in the middle of the board. But as we always see, that no Australian, no win mentality can always sink you. Hey, thank you, Crackle. Appreciate you guys. Black would have moved out if red didn't block in China. Yeah, well, I don't need to move out, right? I still have exterior positions that I can get takes off of. Novel Sanity, thank you for the gift sub, bro. Thank you so much. Yes, I do owe uh, Bad Brad Dad a push-up, so I also owe Del Bishop a lift. We'll try and fit that in when we can. So I'm one of the halves in this game. Blue is a half, orange is a half, and Pete is a half, and we are all allied up. And Schlong McLong with the gift subs. Wow, you guys are popping off right now. Thank you so much, everybody. Appreciate you guys. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. White now allies up. Cool. If I can maintain both my exteriors and hold that bonus, I am laughing. So red is in two, so now what we start doing is we start hunting. So white is in two places. An eight and a one, an eight and a one, and essentially a single that's going to get removed. Red is in two places. I have okay lines on red. Orange is in one place, but orange is the strongest player. White gets removed. No, we're going to keep that white stack there. Cool. Black is in three places, doing much better. And then, of course, yes, black pops it. Good, 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 good. Okay, so I am going to distribute my troops thusly. I don't need to trade my set early. I could definitely skip now. Um, I put two troops up here. Put the rest on the Australia guard. I mean, it might take off the four. I'm going to switch it back. Back to Siberia. So now I'm in um, what is effectively a three position play. I'm expecting this position to exist. I'm expecting this position to exist. I'm expecting this position to get removed. And then I have my generative position of Australia. Hey, Marin. Thank you for the gift sub, bro. Thank you, Marin. Appreciate you. And thank you, Leona, for the biddies. You guys. You guys honor me with the support. Thank you so much. All right, so if I was white, I'd be shaken in my booties. White is white and red are pretty much in the worst position this game. Skip, make me rich. I think I, I guys, I think I just might skip. I don't know. It just seems like the right thing to do. This is a ranked game. I joined someone else's lobby. I, I just, I just might have to skip, folks. What can I tell you? I have a bonus. So, 
When to card skip in progressive? Well, I've already done something counterintuitive. I don't tend to go for Australia, but I went because alliances were on and because I was gifted in the start. Things are so far working out. So when to skip? Why to skip? Okay. When you are holding five cards, you are forced to trade in progressive. Whether you're holding five cards into interior to your turn or at the beginning of your turn, you are forced to trade. Because it's progressive, the sets increase. They progress 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, and then up by 5. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, and then 20, 25. So all things being equal, I'm sitting on the 4 and the 20 trade. But because I have Australia and I skip, I can move from the four trade to the 15 trade if, if uh, white gets four and white and red should trade because they are the short stacks. So all that to say, I think I'm in an ideal position to skip and we'll see how it works out, folks. Now, white, white should trade, as in white should get a card now, which would force them to trade at the beginning of the sequence. If they skip, they're in big trouble because on the one hand, they would potentially get a bigger trade, but on the other, others could skip too, which they will, and white it does not hold a bonus. So white will not be strong enough to not get eaten. They do take their fifth card. They do successfully take a card, which probably means I get the 15 trade. Okay. And let's throw down some push-ups and a lift redeem. Marin wants the boys are back in town, eh? All right. I think we can do that for you, Marin. We're going to throw down a push-up redeem. Folks, if you guys are just sitting in your seats, come hang out with me. Uh, move your body, take care of yourself, treat yourself like someone you love. That's the ethos. That's the idea behind these physical redeems. Well, that was dumb. All right. We see red feed the kill on himself and white, but this is very early, very early. It's going to go to a three player game <clears throat> pretty quick. <sighs> the bulge is looking nice today. <laughs> Thank you. It's really out there. Uh, <laughs> making the dick jokes. All right. Kills red. Easily sets again. So blue is going through the early trades. Do I have lines on black's position? I wonder what black does. Did not expect that feed. It seems like a very healthy, non-toxic player, but if they declined to set when they could have, it was a huge mistake. White, no. White wasn't forced to set yet. White played normally. Red fucked up very badly, okay? this The uh, red made a serious miscalculation going for that kill that early. It, even if they took the five cards, it wouldn't be profitable. Um, that was a dumb move by red. So they killed themselves and white in the process. Okay. 
Looks like Orange is playing it like it's fixed. So he's guarding Africa. Um, pay very close attention to this H stack, guys. Never do this. If you're in this situation in progressive, you don't want to lock troops. You want your troops to be mobile to make kills. Guarding bonuses. Now we've moved from the early game to the mid game. Guarding kills is not what you want to be doing. All right, let's see if Black takes a card. Now, Black sets. Wise decision, because I could have eaten Black if they didn't. They're going to try and kill Pete. No, they just run. They run away. They're trying to kill Orange. Oh, baby. Okay. They go negative on this, and they fail, and they feed me the win, ladies and gentlemen. This game is over. I'm trying to think if there's a way that I can kill black first so orange gets a higher place placement. I think there is. Throw him a heart. Because he got kill fed as well. What a shit show. I give orange third after the unjust feed. And blue is in two pockets. Obviously, I don't force trade my joker. That's dumb. Obviously, I don't force trade my joker. That's dumb. I really love the defaults. Sorry, blue is in three pockets, accessible from two. All right, what do I make that, like a 30? 25. Yeah, I don't quite have it. Let's see. 15. We have it. There we go! And there you have it, ladies. Gentlemen, apparently, oof, ah, no Australia, no win, huh? There you are, there you are. I'm going to force trading the Joker a second time. I know, I know, defaults, guys, defaults. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Red was a very overzealous expert, um, defeating one, uh, two beginners, two experts, and a master. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Check out the free Pete channel. I have a second YouTube channel up and running um, where we're going to be doing GeoGuessr Daily Challenge videos. We're going to be doing um, the revamp of the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast. And we're going to be doing um, the Risk News Q&A stuff and just about anything else I can think of. Come check it out, guys. Um, the link to the second channel is in the notes here. We'd love to have you, folks. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, Good games and good luck.